Well, welcome to my YouTube channel, Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host, Shaheen. I have great news for people who have been holding silver, and I believe that silver is right at that point what we were expecting all from silver. From my analysis of silver price movement, it looks that we are actually completed wave one and wave two of the ending diagonal. We have also completed wave three of the ending diagonal, and we have completed the wave four of the ending diagonal. So if you pay attention to wave two and wave four, there both seems to be zigzag price movements, and then we are at a very important level before just the prices will shoot up. If you also look at traditional technical analysis, we can see that the correction is actually finding support on a horizontal level in the previous price movement. So if this is the actually last bullish lag in silver, we can clearly see support happening right in the middle section of the silver. So this is also giving an indication that the main trend is still up. Once again, it's quite different from my previous analysis where I was assuming the silver will go down. So the re recent price action in silver has made me think that our initial analysis on silver was not right. Therefore, I have updated the analysis on silver. If you pay attention, we can see that wave 3 is larger as compared to wave 1. And then we are also seeing strength in the uh, in, in wave 4, that is wave 4 is not so deeper. So we are seeing shallower correction as compared to the previous wave 2. This is giving us an indication the upward price movement is going to be strong. So I have revised my analysis for silver. I am bullish now on silver and I am expecting the price of silver actually will shoot up in next uh, couple of months probably to around $40 an ounce. Once again, the price analysis is giving us the wave structure analysis actually helping us to see that the alternating count in wave analysis is occurring in silver and initially what we were bearish on silver has changed from the point now that we are bullish on silver right now this is very important change and next few weeks are going to be very very interesting in silver let's have a look at the price of gold and see what's happening in gold I believe that although we have completed some sort of uh, top in gold as well but this price movement is, is really stretching in the last section of it so if you pay attention to the previous support for all the upward price movement then we have different important support levels but we are more concerned to the really last support area before the prices moved up sharply so if you see right now prices are actually in that area right now prices came and bounces back off the top of this support and right now they are in the middle of the support and i believe that the price movement that actually either started from right over here or over here seems to be completing is very complex and in nature i believe that it's still bearish a uh, part of the bearish price movement but i believe right now that we are going through the correctional phase of this price structure so i'm not going into the details of how would i label the in uh, this price movement but because we are all seeing strength in silver we are also seeing that gold is in a very important support level as well so i'm expecting the price of gold right now to jump all over so back somewhere in this region over all right so we'll look at the detail structure uh, once the start prices start developing later on but initially right now i think that uh, what we are expecting that the price of gold will drop that will happen in the ne in but not in the near future in the near future that is from monday and uh, the whole next week will be actually looks like it's going to be bullish for gold and it's going to be bullish for silver thank you so much for paying attention and see you guys soon have a good one and bye bye